Well, it is finally time again for Panoply. This year's art festival features local art, music, and activities. Daniela Perillon with Arts Huntsville joins me now. All right, so this is the 37th year of the festival, right? What do yes. you guys have that'll set you apart this year? Yeah, so every year we bring back great music lineups, the art marketplace, and then we have our interactive activities. This year, those interactive activities are celebrating some big historical milestones for our state and our city. So we're celebrating the Alabama Bicentennial, as well as the 50th anniversary of the lunar landing with all of those hands-on art activities this year. Awesome. So you've got artists from kind of pretty far coming here for this, right? Yeah. So our art marketplace has 100, more than 100 artists from across the country. They're coming to Huntsville all the way from Oregon and North Dakota and South Florida and the Northeast. They're all going to diverge on Big Spring Park to showcase their artwork and you can mingle among their tents, talk to the artists and hopefully come home with a unique piece of art that you fall in love with at the festival. And there's so much to see. Really getting a weekend pass is kind of the way to go, right? Yes, absolutely. We want everybody to get a weekend pass. They're only available until next Friday at 4 o'clock. Once the gates open, no more weekend passes. And it's a great deal. It's only $18 for three days. And that way, you can catch all of our musical acts. We have amazing headliners. On Friday, we have The New Respects. Saturday, Mark Broussard. And Sunday, John Paul White, who's from here in North Alabama. And then about 35 other amazing local and regional music acts. So get that weekend pass and enjoy it all. Awesome. Yeah, there's so much to see. And I'm thinking 37 years, there's got to be a reason that you guys, that people keep wanting this to come back. Yeah, so Huntsville is known for being so innovative. We have this really strong science, tech, engineering, and math community, and the arts are a part of that. We like to call it STEAM instead of STEM, and really the creative side is what fuels that innovation. So people can come out to Panoply and really see what is driving our community forward and that creative instinct that makes the city tick. Awesome, and it's not just for art collectors mm -hmm. or people that know a lot about art. It's for everybody, no. right? It is for everyone. This is not for someone who feels like, I mean, yes, come if you are an art aficionado, you'll love it. But if you're just like, I've never bought a piece of art, or I just want to spend a day outside with my family, this is a great way to get introduced to all different forms of art. If you're worried about the price points of the art, it is. it runs from very affordable, you know, single digits. You could get a piece of art for $5 up to, you know, a thousand dollars so everything is there for no matter who you are yeah good way to dip your toes in the water of art Ex right exactly or, yeah the water is it is it is very unpretentious at panoply <laughs> oh it's tons of fun and it's uh for families kids have stuff to do mm -hmm. adults there's food music yeah right? food everything. music there's something for everyone we have the craft beer tent so you oh, can cool. enjoy a craft beer uh, while you enjoy that live music we tell people to bring their festival seating so they can post up in front of those stages awesome. and really enjoy everything we have going on. Great. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Panoply 2019 will happen in Huntsville's Big Spring Park Friday, April 26th from 5 to 9 p.m. Saturday, April 27th from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday, April 28th from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now your day passes are $10, but like she said, you can get a weekend pass for $18 and kids 12 and under get in for free.